The Gilson Porta screens are rugged, lightweight, portable screen shakers that are designed for efficient particle separation of materials in the 2 inch to number 16 range, but can effectively process materials to number 200. To properly position the counterweights on your Porta screen, you need to remove the four covers of the unit the front and rear upper case covers and the front and rear case covers. First, remove all screen trays and disconnect the unit from its power source. Please note, you can just remove the front and or rear case cover with the top covers still attached. For this demonstration, we will remove each cover individually. To remove the case covers, you start with the upper case covers by loosening the eight screws. Now, set the upper case covers and screws aside. To remove the front and rear covers, you first lower the unit close to the floor by depressing the foot leveling tabs. This will bring the unit's feet close to level with the main frame. Note the three leg leveling assemblies are attached to the case covers, two to the front case cover and one to the rear case cover. Once you remove the case covers, the unit will stand on its main frame. Caution should be taken when removing the case covers and balancing the unit on the main frame. Also note that the digital timer is attached to the front case cover. Take caution when removing the front case cover as not to stretch the connecting wire between the timer and the unit. Now, remove the six screws of the rear case cover and set the rear case cover and screws aside. Next, remove the six screws of the front case cover and carefully set the case cover close to the unit as not to stretch the digital timer wiring. The unit now should be standing on its main frame. And you now have access to the counterweights of the Porta screen. All four counterweights should be at their lowest position, flat side equally up, while the connecting rod is at its highest position. To properly position the counterweights, rotate the drive shaft until the connecting rod is at its highest point. Use a wedging device to hold the drive shaft in place. Loosen all counterweight screws until all four counterweights in the front and rear are in proper position, flat side equally up, and then tighten all counterweight screws. Next, remove the wedging device. Now make sure that all four counterweights are at their lowest position, flat side equally up, while the connecting rod is at its highest position. To attach the case covers on the Porter screen, assemble in reverse order. Please note that since the unit is sitting on its main frame, you may need to tilt the unit so screw holes align between the frame and the front and rear case covers. A second hand may be needed, or support the main frame with bracing. Loosely screw in each screw until all screws are in place. Then tighten all screws on the front and rear case covers. Next, reattach the upper case covers. For any questions about your Porta screen or for any Gilson product, please contact your Gilson technical support team.